So I've been racking my brain um, all last night. I've been really eager to open up this canister. We're running on minimal sleep right now, number one. Number two, I brought it up here to my race shop because just in case we have to cut into this thing, I don't know exactly. I haven't really looked at it except for last night. I, I, gotta, I gotta tell you all this. It literally does not sound like there's anything in there. It's probably just something stupid and empty, but I've never seen a device like this. I mean, it looks like a device to me. This looks like something that could explode, although it does not sound like it. I, I've gotta say this, to, to, to understand where my thought process was last night, going into a random hotel room that I had no idea what was behind that door, was the single most stupid thing that I've ever done. I've done a lot of dumb stuff, and trust me when I say that. But that right there has what I would like to call an explanation behind it. The reason why I went in that room, the reason why I was yelling out in the woods if there were someone to be there, is to get their attention, and obviously, I need you all to understand one thing. When us as YouTubers, when we have four, maybe five, six, 10 videos in the bank, and what I mean by that is videos that we have filmed, that we have built up, and that are ready to post, you kind of, you don't go on cruise control, but you don't take as much risk because, you know, if this video just becomes something that, you know, nothing happens in it, it's okay. Swipe it to the side, delete the footage, nothing really happened, it's interesting, right? Well, last night, it was our first video back, and I really want everyone to understand why. My dad was in the hospital for a week and a half, and that was a week and a half of us not being able to film at all, because I was there with him through that whole process. We come back, uh, you know, last night, and we had no videos left in the bank to post. So it was a make it or break it type situation for me. In the woods, I was either going to try to provoke someone to come out if there was someone in there, and then when we found the uh, the like Hallmark looking card with the room key inside of it and the address, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I've got no videos to post. Let let's push the limits here. Let's let's proceed with this. This that's, I've never. I mean, I have never found anything like that ever. It just it's very bizarre. It's extremely weird. So I hope that y'all understand enough of me talking and explaining my stupidity. Do not do what I do. Do not try to do Randonautica alone. If you get somewhere and the situation is just too weird, stay away from it and don't do it. I have got to sell, I literally have got to tell you all that. So um, again, this canister here, um, it's looking like, uh, there's literally nothing in this thing, dude. I mean, it's like pretty light. Well, let's go into the shop try to open this thing up. I have never seen anything like this, ever. Now, I know what y'all are gonna say, CJ, your fingerprints are all over it. Yeah, it's too damn late now. My fingerprints are literally all over this. So I don't know if it was legal to record this or not, and we're a little bit skeptical or slash terrified to post this footage. So before we left, we stopped at the front of the hotel, motel, whatever this thing was. I walked in with the room key, room 242. The hell was that? And I asked the lady, I said, hey, my friend left me this room key. Um, I just want to confirm their name. And I didn't say he or she, because I don't know if it was a guy or a girl or, or, you know, you just don't know. There's too many unknown variables right now. And um, I'm going to talk to you all as I do this. The lady was like, well, what's your friend's name? And that put me in a very weird spot because I don't know who the f rented that room, okay? Bear with me for a second here. I froze. I genuinely did. I'm like, ah, uh, and the only thing that I could think of was just, well, what name is on the card? I just want to make sure that, you know, my friend's not playing a prank on me or something, right? And the lady was like, sir, I can't give out that information, blah, 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 blah. Very nice lady, but I think, now that I think about it, it looked a little sketchy, like me having that room key. And all I can think, once I left there, and I thought about this all night and all morning so far, is, I am now on surveillance 
with that room key, I've not slept at all because of that. Like I'm thinking, okay, what if someone goes and does something in that room? Well, guess who was asking about that room in 242? Like, I, I'm, I may be stretching a little bit and kind of reaching, but I, I have to, because I, I, I'm mentally trying to process all of this here. Um, what size would this be? Gosh. All right. Looks like that size there. Um. Get over here. Why well, should be like a dollar in here? <laughs> I'd be down with it. You found money playing Randonautica? Yeah, I've never found money playing Randonautica, dude. I, I, I'm gonna be straight up with you. The hell, I got washers on this thing too. Oh, it's Loctited. Let me put Loctite on this. Um. The whole thing with people finding money playing Randonautica, I, I've done that intent 20, 30 times now. I've not found anything. Not with that intent, at least, so. It's just gonna be something stupid, like. It, it, all right, let's just say this. Like, if I was someone that worked for Randonautica or was, like, hacked into the app, and I was setting stuff up something somewhere for like somebody to find that's playing the game, right? What would you put in here? Some snacks. <laughs> some snacks. <laughs> Ew, I'm, I'm down with some snacks if they're in here, man. That would be badass. All right, right here. Mm. This is the moment of truth. I'm really not sure what to even expect. I feel like if it was something dangerous or if it was like uh, an explosive device or something, I definitely feel like you would hear something or like kind of rattling around in there. All right, ready? the hell what the f is that is that a, it's a cloth yo hang on a second here uh, y'all gonna be proud of me i need y'all to like this video because i'm putting on gloves okay right here it's the first time for everything folks okay i'm putting on gloves i know my energy level is a little low today and i apologize about that but um, I didn't sleep barely any at all last night thinking about this. By the time we got back home, it was just around 2.30. Woke back up at 6 and here we are, so. Alright, let's get a good shot of whatever the f*** is in this. What the hell would that even be? Is that a, that's a damn glove. There's nothing else in there. It's like Michael Jackson's white glove. Did he wear white gloves or something like that? He wore one white glove. One white glove? Left hand. What is this? James Patterson. What the f I know you're just getting started and so am I. What is that even supposed to mean? I know you're just getting started and so am I. Why is that underlined? Jacoby in particular looked awful. He would be the one telling the family and press the chief and the mayor at the end of the day. We were clueless. I know you're just getting started and so am I, said Claire. Her smile beaming a small ray of hope into our collective gloom. I sent the samples back to the lab let the night crew take a crack at this, she said. I'm asking them to run test again. This time instructing them to look for the weird, strange, and bizarre. What 
what the f the eighth confession whatever that means have homicide suicide or double suicide but I got surprised not in a good way Claire had us by the eyeballs no one spoke maybe no one breathed Claire waved a computer printout and said toxology was negative no poisons no opiates no narcotics no nothing cause of death no idea manner of death no idea something stinks and I don't know what she told us but the likelihood of these two individuals with complexity are completely negative autopsies and completely negative toxologies expiring at the same time is statistically astronomical oh man I muttered so much for the toxic or tox screens will give us a clue okay okay I was wrong about that Lindsay since there's no such thing as a sudden adult death syndrome we're thinking homicide until we've got something to go on I'm giving Ethan and Isa, Isa Bailey Chinese death certificates Chai spoke up and said Claire my darling that's a new one for me what's a Chinese death certificate pending she cracked case open any other questions yep Jacoby what now Claire took her feet off the desk stood up and said I'm going home going to kiss my baby then going to eat an entire turkey pot pie followed by a bowl of chocolate pudding with whipped cream and no one better try to stop me she gazed around the room at our faces slack from the long day and gray from the overhead fluorescent lights I was pretty sure we looked like the living dead okay what the actual does that even mean the thing that me up more than anything right here is this okay I don't know what she told us but the likelihood of these two individuals possibly us okay where was I just reading that two individuals with completely negative autopsies and completely negative negative toxicologies expiring at the same time is st statistically astronomical I don't even know what the that means but two people it's, it's literally talking about two people and a homicide so my question is, what in the hell is in this? Is it smart for us to open this? It's got some type of Chinese lettering on it. It's got something in there. Oh my word. Okay, I actually thought that was like human skin at first. I have no idea. Sorry, my hand is like shaking. I'm like not nervous, but I am nervous. That is creepy looking. Look the hell's on its head? Oh, it looks like it's been like drugged through mud and beaten all the hell. What's that have to do with any of that? Okay. The only thing underlined in this, I know you're just getting started and so am I. So what's that supposed to mean? I'm puzzled and confused. I don't really. We got a room key, right? We went to a room. We find this. What was playing on? You haven't even seen that footage from my phone. There's something playing on um, the radio. There's like a there's like a clock radio thing. Clock radio. Yeah, with like a the flashlight thing at the bottom like I don't know it looked like something my grandparents would have owned if they were still alive um, see my thing is it's say about we know you're just getting started and so am I this doll looks like it's been like beat the hell ripped and all this is this supposed to like foreshadow something with us like, could be could be I'm just trying to think to myself, I'm like, all right, are we missing something? Like, I kind of feel stupid right now.
I don't, I don't understand exactly the scope of what's going on here. I'm, I'm actually more confused now that we've opened this. I'm glad it's not like gonna explode on us or anything, but maybe I'm, I'm, I think I'm just dead tired right now and I just like can't process. I don't know. Let's go to the dry erase board, dude. There's gotta be, we gotta be missing something. I don't, I don't understand. All right, I want to play this video. We'll kind of overlay it here on the screen too. There's got to be something that I'm, I'm missing here, dude. I, I can't. I'm just like. First of all, what the hell was on that radio that was playing? I don't know. Now we're going back and watch it. It's, it's just like. Wait, there's something on the bed. I missed that. There's something on the bed. It's like uh actually never mind, that might be just like the bottom of the comforter how it's flipped up. I don't know, so I want everybody to help me out with this. Um, again, I, I want you all to understand that the stupidity level of last night is something that is completely unmatched by me. I, I am just, I'm dumbfounded. I feel, I'm glad I did it. I also hate that I did it, because now I'm worried like, all right, well what if something happened in that room after we left? and now I'm gonna be pinned for it, you know what I mean? Or try to be like framed for it in some way. And my fingerprints are all over that room. I touched that little radio thing. I, I mean like, I get chills thinking about that, dude. This is why I didn't want to go up there, so I told you no. Because we had no idea what their intention was, and that was part of our intent. Damn. Comment below what y'all think. Um, it's the only thing I can ask you to do right now. Um, more confused than ever about all of this, so. Just trying to think how we haven't filmed in a week and a half, almost two weeks, and we come back and it's this, you know? I get it, but Pace, they couldn't keep up. That's very true. Yeah, we did give them a lot of time if they were to set up more locations, like whoever's doing this shit. Like, see, I don't know if it's actually ran an article or if like the app is like hacked. I don't think it would be the company, honestly. Yeah, With the route yeah. that's been going the last couple of videos. Yeah. 
Either way, whoever it is. Hang on a second. I just thought of something. Holy shit. I don't think this is it, but hang on a second here. The Oh yeah, I'm okay, dude, we might be onto something here. This is good. Dylan, I knew it. Right here, when we see that suit, that's the, that is the clown. I'm like 90% sure that is the clown looking face thing. Yes, I'm pretty sure that is. Zoom in on that so everybody can see, like on the video. I'm telling you, that is it. Pick it up with a dirty rag, I'm not touching this thing. Son of a bitch. That is that. There's no denying that. That will explain the night that we went back and the trash can was there, but the suitcase looking briefcase laptop bag thing was gone. That looks like that head sticking out of that bag. Which proves a thousand percent that it is a human being that is placing this stuff. 110%. We know that now. What does that page mean? That we know you're just getting started. So, like, are yeah, we that's... getting on to something that they don't want us to find out? My thing is this, if they're like, if, if they're trying to divert us away from something that they don't want us to find out, then why don't they just give us bust every time? That's why I'm thinking this is bigger. That's why I'm thinking like, all right, what the f if, what if this is like something that they're trying to tell us, they're trying to show us and give us clues to something that we got to put a puzzle together for. It just seems all too weird that this has popped up twice now. Hmm. Y'all know what to do. Comment below what your theory is on all of this. I want to hear I want to hear every detailed theory that you possibly have. Go.